Thank you so much for tuning in, lovelies. Look at this sauce here. Look at this yummy sauce. Please stay tuned and let me share the recipe with you. When you hear Ofada sauce, lovelies, the first thing you want to think of it's your protein, okay? What protein? They are sorted all the old rishi rishi that belongs to Ofada sauce. And today I am going for goat meat, okay? All the assorted meat from goat meat and goat meat flesh and all. So this is what I have, just the assorted meat first. I am going to uh, cook with some amount of onion, some amount of ginger and garlic. If you don't want to have ginger and garlic, please keep it. I went in with some amount of all cocoa seasoning, some thyme, some salt. I added my goat meat uh, here, okay, so marinate all that very well and cover all to cook for at least 25 minutes. There are all the ingredients for this recipe, I will list them out in the description box. If this is your first time on my channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to like for more recipes and hit the notification bell to be notified. To my returning subscribers, I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, so back to our uh, protein. So up to now, I didn't have any liquid. And then I'm going to add in my cow skin. Okay, so the cow skin, it's more like already cooked. Okay, so I'm just going to add more amount of water and let it continue to cook for at least 10 minutes. Another highlight for Ofada sauce are your pepper mixture. I have five large pointed bell pepper cleaned and the seeds are out to prevent my sauce from getting bitter. If you care, go ahead and add green one to mix it up. I have two scotch bonnet pepper and two large red onion which is very important for this recipe. I went ahead to cut the small to make it easier for my mixer okay harden and blend without adding any liquid this is how i blend my very rough lovely very rough if you care continue to blend a little bit and set aside back to my protein it's been cooking for a while so just scoop it out set aside and the uh, juice the brood will be set aside also very small brood but mighty with taste and flavor one thing you want to do is to go ahead and bleach your palm oil if you care but i will skip that because i do not want to bring my palm oil beyond smoke point bringing your oil beyond smoke point oil or any other oil it's unhealthy for your food or for you and for you okay so i've added some smoke point is when this oil begins to smoke very too much okay which is not good for you i added some sunflower oil to brighten it up a little bit okay brighten the palm oil up and let it heat up to loosen up the taste of the, the raw taste of palm oil let it heat up to loosen up the raw raw taste of palm oil and then you want to continue fry your meat in here cover up with splatter guard or with aluminum foil to prevent it from splashing everywhere because it will splash okay guys and yeah this is what it looks like at this point you want to scoop it out if you are satisfied with the way it is and in the same oil we are going to fry our sauce it is not too much we need this oil for this sauce so go in with your sliced brunoa onion saute here and there and introduce your purple mixture this purple mixture you want to sieve out the liquid if you don't want to have it but i want to have the liquid of this pepper mixture this is what i need to cook my sauce my pepper to sauce okay so introduce or sieve out the liquid cover up and let it cook a little bit when you come back adding your eggs my childhood time comes back when those eggs changes color in your father's sauce that's where i enjoy it and the iru which is the local beans 
my family don't love my daughter don't like to see this big and sauce okay so i love to chop it or blend it together so just chop and add up add it in the oil cover up and let it cook when you come back huh huh looks it smells good okay guys it smells good it smells good so i'm just going to add in the cow skin and season please don't forget to like this video at this point lovelies please like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so hit the notification bell to be notified i added the meat the fried meats at this point so i am going to season with the main thing my blended crayfish Add in some part of your blended crayfish, not all at this point. Season with some amount of bouillon powder or vegetable powder, whatever you want to season with some thyme and some curry. So I'm always careful with curry because my husband might decide to taste my father's sauce. He eats it, but not that much because it's always purplish. Okay, adding my curry still here and there. I added my brute at this point, cover up and let it cook. So lovely is you that share my video. What should I say? Thank you. I am sending you, blowing you some kiss over. Thanks for always sharing. Thanks for always liking and always coming back to watch my video. So after stirring this guys, you want to cover up again and let it cook just a little bit, just a little bit. And we are ready to serve. And this last point, you don't want to skip it because it's all. If you know me, you know I always had this crayfish at this point. Add it and look at those crayfish. At this, sorry, those eggs are changing colors a little bit already. And we are ready. Very easy sauce, very fast, very delicious. This is one easy sauce I know actually because it's sweet on its own. It has this perfect texture. It does it's not sour nothing you actually almost can't go wrong on this okay so for ofada sauce you need ofada rice mm -hmm. but i kind of love to go for this rice because it tastes amazing and number two i don't have ofada rice so serve and enjoy thank you all so much for coming back to watch my video for sharing subscribe if you haven't done so and hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell to be notified anytime I post a new video. Leave your comment down below. What do you think? It's it one to try out. See you in my next one. Bye for now.